Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew. And today I wanted to show you a quick tip on how to use your MPC as a MIDI controller with your favorite DAW. In this case, I'm using Logic Pro and I'm using the MPC Key 37, which I'm fairly new to. Um, and the reason I'm showing you this is because in the user guide for Akai, they want you to switch it over to controller mode to control like MPC beats or to use your favorite DAW to control it and use it as a standalone controller. But what if you want to use the internal sounds that are built into the keyboard or drum machine uh, as a standalone and record into an audio region into your favorite DAW such as Logic Pro or Pro Tools or Ableton Live? Well, there's a solution for that as well. In this case, we want to use it in standalone mode but still control uh, virtual instruments in Logic Pro. So with Logic Open, I have one of my favorite synthesizers called Alchemy. This is a great synthesizer for you Logic users. If you don't know about it, learn more about it and check out some tutorials. All right, so as we go back over to the keyboard here, we're gonna go ahead and click on Main Menu and then click on Main Mode. There's a lot of MPC users out here who, who watch these videos. You probably already know how to function and use the MPC. That's good. You can skip this video. But for those new users, follow along. All right. So right now what we want to do is go ahead and click on new track. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and click on MIDI. Okay. So I have MIDI selected. Now let me go ahead and play my keyboard. And as you can see, there's no input coming into Logic Pro. There's no, uh, no MIDI notes being sent from the Akai keyboard to Logic Pro or to any of my DAWs. Okay, so in order to, to rectify this or to fix it, we want to go ahead and choose the MIDI output. And of course, there's no MIDI output, and that's why the signal's not going along there um, or being sent out. So we're going to go ahead and just change that to USB port 1. Now let's go ahead and play. There we go. This is awesome, and I wish someone would have showed me this trick a while back. Um, it's not necessarily a trick, but there's very little information online on how to do any of this. And so I hope this helps out some of you new users that love using this keyboard and love using Akai products with your favorite DAW. All right. I hope this helps. Please uh, like, share, and follow my page. There's going to be more music coming very soon. All right. Peace.